Okay, so this was another request I had for implementing some of my Quad Cortex presets onto the Impero to stop. And this is focusing in on the Nile Rogers kind of tone. So we're really focusing on that kind of funk um, kind of rhythm tone here and seeing what we can do. I pretty much just ported this over from what I'd done in the Quad Cortex. It seemed to work pretty well. And we can start out by showing that we're running um, the template that's the split mix template. So you can see it's splitting off and then mixing back in. So before the split, so both parallel paths are getting a compressor. So for these kind of tones, you've got to put a lot of compression on. I'm using the squeezer compressor here. On the back end, we've got a delay with a really short time. So it's more of a slap back. I've only got it 50 milliseconds. And then we've got a reverb on the end. It's a studio reverb. So this tone is pretty dry. There's not a lot here. Just a little bit of kind of that quick slap back. And then our parallel path is mixing two things. One is we've got a direct path. And all I'm doing is I'm running a parallel EQ so that we can tweak the frequencies we want. And then I've got a little bit of a micro boost after that in order to be able to balance the level of that. And then on the amp path, I'm using actually the Mesa Boogie John Petrucci amp because that clean tone is just a really pure clean tone. And I'm running that into a 2x12 with the, the G12 speakers in it. And we've got, we're using mix one for the mics and we're at the cap edge. And we've got the high cut at 6,000, so not super low, but again, I always find it useful in the Ampero to stomp to put that high cut on the speakers in order to keep the kind of the high end under control. So uh, there's only one scene in this preset and it sounds like this. I'm running a stress out guitar and right now I'm in the uh, four position. So I'm in between the neck and the middle. <laughs> So you can hear just a nice kind of spanky clean tone and that makes it the direct of the amp I think kind of fills it in a little bit and the delay and reverb just add a little bit to the end. If we turn those off in here it's adding just a little bit of that on the reverb again that's the uh, studio reverb and then the delay is that analog delay with the real short so not a lot of ambience, just enough to give a little bit of a slap back like you're in the room. So as always, this preset will be up in the Dropbox folder for these Ampero 2 presets. Uh, feel free to download it, try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching.